become crooked Joe Biden's top surrogate, I think, because he doesn't think Biden is going to make it. That's why he's doing it. He doesn't think he's going to make it, and it won't be him so easy. He's going to have a big fight. However, because there will be a lot of Democrats uh, competing, it's going to be very interesting. But let's see. Look, some people say Biden's going to make it. Does anybody think he's going to make it to the starting gate? I mean, the guy can't find his way off of a stage. Look, here's a stage. Here's a stage. I've never seen this stupid stage before, right? I've never seen it. But if I walk left, there's a stair. And if I walk right, there's a stair. And this guy gets up. Where am I? Where am I? Nah, he's terrible. Terrible. You know, I'm much tougher on him than I used to be. Out of respect for the office, I was never like him. He's the most corrupt president, the most incompetent president we've ever had. But when they indicted me, and then again and again and again, I was never indicted. Now I'm setting records. Al Capone was not indicted so much. Alphonse Capone. If you looked at Al Capone in the wrong way, he'd kill you. He was not indicted like me. I was never indicted. I didn't know. When they taught me at the Wharton School of Finance, they didn't talk about indictment. It's, no, it's a disgrace what's happening. They've weaponized elections. They've done everything. I mean, these are very bad people. But I used to talk relatively nicely about them. I wouldn't go out of my way. I wouldn't say the things I say now. Now I'm just all in because these people are bad and they're dangerous. And we have to stop it. I wouldn't say what I say now. I never did. I'd joke. I'd, I'd have a little fun with it. But I wouldn't call him. i call him the worst president in history. i call him the most corrupt president in history. And i call him the most incompetent president. Other than that, he's doing a fabulous job, I think, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing a fabulous job. Along with crooked Joe Biden, Newsom is also killing our car industry. Your cars are ridiculous, what's happening. And crushing our great automakers in Michigan, Wisconsin, Georgia, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Crushing them. Under his leadership, this is Newsom, California has imposed the most ridiculous car regulations anywhere in the world with mandates to move to all electric cars. The problem with an electric car, number one, you lose all your jobs because they're all going to be made in China and other countries. They're not going to be made here at all. I was up in uh, the other day in Michigan, like the other night. We had an incredible crowd. And they were the United Auto Workers, auto workers and, and others, but we were sort of focused on the auto workers. I said, you got to endorse Trump because I'm going to save your industry. We're going to have a thriving car industry. <laughs> this lunatic is going to destroy. He's going to go all electric. Think about all electric. And I have no problem with electric. You should be able to buy an electric car. You should buy a gas-fired uh, car. You should buy a hybrid. You should buy whatever the hell you want. I mean, some people like electric. If you want to drive for 14 minutes to the candy store, it, electric is very good. But if you actually want to get into a car and drive for a few hours, you know, they're doing a couple of other ones with electric. They're going electric crazy. Uh, it doesn't work. Uh, they want all electric army tanks now. Think of this. Think. So they want to have an army tank that's electric. You can't get it recharged. It doesn't go far enough. It doesn't go strong enough. But they created some.